Welcome to Not Conscious Episode 1. My name is Mark, and I'd like to have a conversation with you about why I'm even doing this in the first place. Before I begin, I just want to thank a couple people. I want to thank my friend Lillian, who helped me put together the podcast studio and helped me get all the uh, panels up and build all the sound absorption and, and all that good stuff and find the right equipment. It sounds amazing. Thank you so much for your help, Lillian. I really appreciate it. I also want to thank my friend Karen Helwig. She, uh, she's, she owns uh, and operates K Frank Designs. She's the one who created the two logos that I have, the two not conscious logos. So if you see them, you like them, and you're interested in a logo for yourself, please feel free to reach out to me, and I'll be happy to get you connected with Karen. She's a great friend. And thank you, Karen. Taking a new step, uttering a new word, is what people fear most. It's what Fedor Dostoevsky said. I share that because it took me about two, two and a half years to start this. I have been working on putting a podcast together for at least two years, and I am finally starting to get it done. Um, there was a lot of fear to put myself out there. I texted a friend of mine, and I shared my anxiousness about putting myself out there. And, you know, he's a really good friend of mine, very close friend, and he sent me a word of encouragement. He said, you already know that you have a voice for many people who feel isolated like I do. And um, that really helped encourage me to get started. So there's three main reasons that I wanted to do a podcast in the first place. Uh, the first reason is because I feel a lack of connection with humanity. I feel different. I feel disconnected from others. Um, I kind of have the Terrence McKenna thought of, you know, he quoted, he's quoted as once saying the cost of sanity in this society is a certain level of alienation. And I live that. Um, I enjoy my solitude and I do withdraw more than I would like. And a podcast is actually a really good way to get me connected again. So it's this reason that I, you know, I'm, I want to start this is because I want to get connected to humanity again. Um, the more I try to interact and connect and blend in with everyone or the general society, the more isolated I actually feel because I don't feel like many people are like me. A lot of people like to have shallow conversations about the weather or the day or the week or a new haircut or something. Or people allow them to be dis, uh, they allow themselves to be distracted by with daily mundane life like chores and picking up the children and soccer practice and all that good stuff. Um, a lot of people, generally in my experience, don't want to have "quote unquote" real conversations. Uh, I call that the ostrich syndrome. If you talk about a deep subject. Now it's exposed. Now you have to, now you start thinking about it. But a lot of people like to live their life with their head buried in the sand. I understand it because it gets you through life. But for some reason, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not wired that way. Um, I want to talk about everything with at least one person as I talk about things with myself. Dostoevsky said that as well. And I, I adopt that philosophy because I would just love to have conversations with people about topics like I would want to converse with myself. Um, one of the other challenges, I don't understand how others think or how they don't think or why they think the way they do. You know, a lot of people see one side of the coin when it comes to a conversation. And if you disagree, it's like, oh, it's the other side of the coin. And many times, I'm not even working in the same currency. And that makes it really challenging sometimes to connect when, you know, apples and oranges are being discussed. Uh, there's a, a next coworker that I used to talk with about dating. She was looking to date. And she claimed that she was looking f for people who wouldn't have just small talk. She doesn't want to have small talk with people she dates. And I said, you know, I'm not, I don't like small talk either. What do you mean by small talk? And she wasn't really a hundred percent certain what she meant by that. She didn't even know how to articulate what she meant 
by small talk, but she looked at me and she goes, well, I'm not sure, but you know, what do you, what kind of small talk or, you know, or what do you consider, you know, small talk? And I told her, you know, conversations about the weather, basic things. And she followed up with, well, what do you like to talk about? And I told her, you know, little things like quantum mechanics, physics, Newtonian laws, the theory of relativity, theism, space, aliens, evolution, etc. You know, just basic stuff, right? She looked back at me with a blank stare and was like, huh? So... I do have a certain level of curiosity, you know, that some people don't have. Um, I'm frustrated with the world, not because people don't understand everything, but, but but because people don't even care to try to understand everything. Um, I'm not the most intelligent person in this world. I'm far from it, but I do have a deep curiosity. Uh, I need to know everything. I don't think I'll ever get there, but regardless of knowing or having the intellect and the ability to understand something, I want to understand. It is my curiosity that drives me. And it is challenging for me because I don't see the majority of people having the deep level of curiosity that I do. So this this podcast is a good way to to, uh, delve into that. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, There's an old Native American proverb. You can't awaken someone who's pretending to be sleeping. And, you know, that's a really good way to look at it because I'm not here to, you know, shake someone awake. I'm here to just share what I experience with others. I hope it resonates with you and I hope you keep listening. And that's my ultimate goal. Um, If people want to still keep their eyes closed and, pretend to sleep, so be it. But I am unable to do that. Another challenge for me in this world is tribalism. Um, I am a big proponent of community. I understand how strong communities uh, fare better than others. But tribalism is a challenge for me. And there's a bunch of, a bunch of different tribe tribalism pieces. Uh, what tribalism is, it's the behavior and attitudes that stem from strong loyalty to one's own tribe or social group. Uh, a couple examples of that would be sports tribalism, my team versus yours, political tribalism, left versus right, family tribalism, you know, people with children. I work for a very family oriented type company and I don't have any children. And a lot of my coworkers do. And whenever conversations about children or school or some movie or something comes out, I'm Im- immediately disconnected because I don't share those, those types of uh, interests. I just don't have them because I don't have the same things they do. Um, musical tribalism, you know, parrot heads, claymates, you know, my music rocks, your music sucks. Um, and then finally, religious tribalism, you know, your faith, you know, you become everything that your faith says you are creates a lot of challenges. We will be getting into that one and probably most of the other tribalism uh, examples as well as we go through this because a lot of them need to be just be addressed and looked at. You know? But what's really important about this whole thing is the most important factor for evolution and for natural selection, for survival for propagation of the species, the most important factor has nothing to do with someone's intelligence, nothing to do with their creativity, nor their curiosity. It actually has to do with their adaptability. That's the most important factor. The challenge with that is some people don't fit in with the majority of society. They don't feel like they can adapt. They're then shunned because of that, and that shunning is like a snowball effect. It makes it worse. It makes it harder to want to adapt. Therefore, it makes it harder to survive ultimately. That lack of connection um, cost a good friend of mine his life. Um, I am certain that I'll talk about him in future episodes, but I lost a good friend to suicide in August of 2017. And... 
I feel it was because of his lack of connection to anything. And he was able to let go. Um, we will talk about that, but, um, yeah, that's, that was a big one for me. Um, there's this song called connection by one Republic. I would urge that you look it up, go on a search engine, look up one Republic's connection. That song epitomizes how I feel. And a lot of people feel that way, but all is not lost. That's the great thing. I want everyone to know there are 7.7 billion people in the world. Um, I used to think I'm just 1% of 1%, you know, I used to have this, uh, that I didn't connect to anyone. I'm like 1% of 1%. That number is still 770,000 people. So even if you feel the way I felt or sometimes still do feel, you're not alone. 1% of 1% is 770,000 other humans out there. So please don't give up hope. The second reason that I want to even do this podcast is because I want to challenge people's beliefs, ideas, opinions, and thoughts. It's my opinion that beliefs are dangerous. Once you adopt a belief, it becomes fixed and concrete. Any disagreement to that belief is like an attack against the person who holds that belief. You know, if someone that believes X and that person next to them goes, no, it's not X, it's Z. That person feels almost immediately under attack and needs to defend their stance. We should have ideas rather than beliefs. Ideas can be discussed. By having an idea to which no one is married, we can openly discuss all areas and angles of an idea. We can really dissect it to all the pieces and challenge it from every angle. There's a quote credited to Aristotle. It's the mark of an educated man to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. That's what I wanted this podcast to be. I want to be able to talk about the craziest stuff but it doesn't mean I need to adopt it or accept it. I just want to discuss it and I want to uh, create ideas and then dissect those as well. I want you to challenge your ideas, your own beliefs, create new ones. And then I want you to challenge those. This is a continual process. You don't just come up with the answer. You come up with an idea of it and then you challenge that and see how it holds up. Right? I ask not that you accept my ideas and opinions. I'm not here to preach. I'm here to share uh, some information possibly and share experiences that you may not come across otherwise, but I am not here to preach. I do ask you to challenge my ideas though. That said, I will share my ideas and thoughts. I have an opinion, an idea, and a thought about pretty much every subject. I'm not right. I'm not wrong. They're ideas and thoughts. They're just pieces of information that we can look at and dissect. So I will definitely be sharing all my thoughts over the, over the podcast time. There is a quote credited to Plato. Opinion is the medium between knowledge and ignorance. And I think that's a good place to be. I'll, let's, let's start an opinion. We'll start in the middle. I don't want to be ignorant. And certainly knowledge is always what we strive to where we strive, but, uh, or for what we strive, but, um, we should start with opinion because at least that's part of the process on the way to getting to knowledge. The third and final reason that I wanted to create this podcast is I wanted to bridge the gap between science and spirituality. It's my opinion that spiritual experiences are very real. They're just not completely understood yet. About five years ago, uh, I started having precognitive visions and started having some strong psychic abilities. I am a man of science and I did not understand the things that I was experiencing and it freaked me out big time, freaked me out. Uh, I didn't know what to do with them. I have them regularly. I have them daily, if not weekly. And 
I'm still trying to understand them. I don't even know if they're real. I need to know whether they are. Um, a lot of my spiritual practitioner friends, they just accept what they experience. You know, I, I have a lot of psychic mediums who are like, I, I just get these visions. I get these ideas, these thoughts. And that's great. I wish I could live in that way and just accept what I am, but I'm a how and wire. I cannot accept what I've experienced so far. I need to vet and validate the things I've experienced and I need to understand. I'm hoping maybe other people can help me understand on this journey because I uh, would love to have people on that can help me maybe explain the things I, I experienced. I'm definitely going to share those as we get later on uh, through the podcast, but um, I need to know why I started experiencing these quote unquote spiritual things that no one can explain. It's, it's my opinion that spirituality is, the, is science that can't yet be explained via our current understanding or methods. We may not be able to measure these things. You know, People talk about ghosts or other types of phenomena. Maybe these are just things we are unable to explain with science yet. Um, so we put it in the realm of spiritual. Uh, imagine taking a lighter back in time, like a butane lighter, handheld lighter, going back in time to caveman times walking up to a caveman and just lighting the lighter. One of two things would happen. They'd either worship you as a God or they'd stone you as a devil, right? There's really nothing in between. However, you and I understand that a lighter is just butane, oxygen, and uh, a spark, right? Combustion. Real simple. That's what I think what we consider spirituality now, I think that's where we will get. Science will slowly explain a lot of the phenomena that we don't understand right now. Uh, Jacob Bernowski had a great, great quote, and he said, To me, being an intellectual doesn't mean knowing about intellectual issues. It means taking pleasure in them. And that's the philosophy I want to have for this podcast. I want to take pleasure in getting to know people on a very deep level, uh, whether it be a podcast guest or yourself or even myself in, in other ways uh, and share what I've come across over time with whoever's listening and whoever it resonates with. To recap, I want people who feel and think differently than the norm that someone is out there with whom you can connect. 1% of 1% is 770,000 people. There's somebody. I understand what it feels like to feel lonely and alone, but I can almost guarantee you that the numbers don't lie. You're not. The second piece I want to challenge your beliefs and thoughts and opinions, and I want you to challenge mine. I'm going to say some crazy shit on here, and I am ready for the comments. Uh, once again, I want to bridge the gap between science and spirituality. I am a man of science who has had spiritual experiences in the last five years that I can't, can't explain. I have thoughts about them, and I have ideas about what it might be or the start, but I have nothing that I can measure or that I can test yet. So all that's up in the air, but I love the conversation about it. Lastly, Einstein said, no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. I agree 100% with that. We have dug ourselves a little bit of a hole with certain things in this, in this world, and it will take, a certain different consciousness to get us out of it. Um, once again, knocked conscious was a whole concept of just being awoken, not woke, but just kind of shaken awake to start looking for those answers. I'd like to thank you for listening to episode one of knocked conscious. Once again, my name is Mark Poles. I am going to have a bunch of guests on and please subscribe to the YouTube channel, log on to Podbean. Feel free to email me at info at knockedconscious.com. I also have the website knockedconscious.com. Twitter is at knockedcon, Instagram, Facebook, 
are both at Knocked Conscious. I want to thank you again for listening. I hope you have a great time, and I will talk with you soon. Uh-huh.